there, my name is Teddy and welcome to science. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever seen a volcano? Or have you ever gone near a volcano? How is it different from other landforms? Today, we are going to learn about volcanoes and how it made changes on the Earth's surface. This is a volcano. A volcano is an opening in the Earth's crust where lava, molten rocks, and gaseous materials are forced out through its opening. In the Philippines, there are many known volcanoes. Also, let me show some pictures of it. This is Mount Bulusan in Sorsogon. This one is Mount Pinatubo. It was located in Zambales. This one is called Mount Canlaon. It was located in Negros Oriental. And this is Hibokibok Volcano in Kamigin. Volcanoes also vary in different sizes. Some are just low-lying depression. Some are maybe small, like this one. This is Taal Volcano. It is located in Batangas. Other volcanoes are tall, like the Mayon Volcano in Albay. Do you know how a volcanic eruption occur? When the tectonic plates collide, massive rocks underground deform and trigger a buildup of temperature and pressure. The high temperature and pressure results in melting of rocks and become a magma. And when pressure builds up, magma rises to the surface and volcanoes erupt to release the pressure with lava and other gaseous materials. Well, some volcanic eruptions are explosive and others are actually not. Now, let us describe the different parts of a volcano. Let's start with the crater. The opening of a volcano is called the crater and deeply under it is the magma chamber. Molten rocks inside this chamber is forcefully driven out by intense heat and pressure. When magma are released from the crater, it is called volcanic eruption. The magma that flows out on the surface is called lava. This cylindrical channel that connects the crater to the magma chamber is called volcanic vent. Other volcanoes have secondary vent or side vent, which is also a way out for the magma. When a volcano erupts, it throws out lava together with gases, rocks, and ashes. A volcanic eruption may be explosive or non-explosive. An eruption is explosive when large amount of pyroclastic materials are ejected by the volcano into the air. What is a pyroclastic materials? These consist of lava, ashes, volcanic gas, and rocks. An explosive volcanic eruption occurs when gases in the magma are trapped 
causing a buildup of pressure in the magma chamber. As a result, the gases expand very quickly and explode violently. This results in loud explosion. An explosive eruption can last for several hours or even days. In non-explosive eruption, lava just flows out of the crater and gaps along the side of the volcano. This kind of eruption happens when there is less pressure in the magma chamber. Actually, if the magma chamber is located nearer the Earth's surface, there would probably have less pressure. There are actually three kinds of volcano according to activity. These are active volcano, dormant volcano, and extinct volcano. A volcano is considered active if it is currently erupting or showing regular signs of activity like earthquakes and significant gas emission. An active volcano has a record of eruption within 50 years. Number 2. Dormant Volcano These are volcanoes that erupted and then have entered a long period of inactivity. According to the seismologist, the longer the period of dormancy or inactivity, the greater the chance of having a very explosive eruption in the future. And number three, extinct volcano. These are volcanoes that have not shown signs of activity for a long period of time and has no records of volcanic eruptions in the past thousand years. Volcanic eruptions can cause damage to plants, animals, people, and even properties. But aside from destruction, materials released by a volcano can have beneficial effect in nature and people. Therefore, volcanic eruptions can give some good and bad effects. During a volcanic eruption, a very hot lava flow can burn anything in its path. The mad flow or lahar can cause landslide, flooding, and immense damage to buildings and farms. Volcanic ash and dust released in the air can irritate the lungs and cause health problems. Very strong eruptions can also trigger earthquakes and cause damage in buildings and other properties. But despite the destruction it causes, a volcanic eruption can also be beneficial. That's right. The pyroclastic materials from a volcanic eruption can make a soil fertile which is good for planting and farming. The heat inside the volcano can cause gases to come out through holes or vents called fumaroles. These fumaroles can provide geothermal steam to generate electricity. Eruptions can also produce industrial materials like pumice and sulfur. Pumice is used in grinding and polishing stones, while sulfur is used in making matches and firecrackers. 
the rocks from volcanoes also help scientists to study the interior of the Earth.